This pandemic has spawned many an internet star, perhaps none stranger than the creatures who've become regulars at Zoom gatherings the world over. MTI's Tayab has a tale of animal magnetism. Nestled among the rolling hills in England's northwest is a farm like no other with a flock like no other, all led by farmer Dot McCarthy, along with her herd of what might best be called Zoom call goat crashers. So this is Cronkshire Fold Farm. My name's Dot and we have started putting our goats on the internet. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it started as a joke uh, during the first lockdown in the UK. We just put it on the website as a joke. But it turns out there's a lot of people who are very bored in meetings who <laughs> want to book goats. How many of these calls have you done now? Uh, so we've done over 10,000 now. 10,000? Which is... <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying it. Oh, <laughs> what's the goat's name? That's Jim. The goat's name is Lulu. That's so cute. The goats have been called on to crash all kinds of calls. Booking them is easy. Just log on to the farm's website, pick a goat, put in your details, and for the low price of $7... I'm sorry, is that footage live? Your next yes, video live conference show. will have a vocal new participant. <laughs> bringing with them a welcome bit of levity. Let's Everyone please meet Lola. <laughs> the goats actually started- This is Charles Weiler Ulit, uh, an American who runs a media company in the Netherlands, and now goat crashing enthusiast. I mean, it's so ridiculous, but also so much fun, isn't it? You know, no one wants to wake up early in the morning and jump on a Zoom call with everyone. It's always the same. You need something to spice it up, and the goats seem to have worked really well. <laughs> The unbelievable success of McCarthy's Goat Crashers has seen her rake in more than $75,000 over the past year. Brilliant. It's weird how calming it is. Which has meant she hasn't had to lay off any of her staff during the pandemic. Although their jobs have changed a little. This is the goat barn. This is Archie here. Okay. He's my apprentice. For 12 hours a day, the staff at Cronkshaw Fold Farm take booking after booking from all over the world making mini celebrities of their Caprine charges. So this is Lola. <laughs> and what's Lola like? <laughs> she is a show goat. Hi, Lola. Yellow iodine on her hair yeah, from butting okay. goats without a care. Oh, right. <laughs> this is Daisy in here. Here is this Daisy. Uh, she's very greedy. There you go. A perfectly charming trait for a goat, judging from the digital howls of laughter, <laughs> Well, that was a nice little break in the day, wasn't it? Coming from across the globe. <laughs> Say bye-bye to Lulu the goat. Bye-bye, Lulu. Oh, it's just uh, making people smile, which is really nice. There's not, there's not a lot else I can do other than grow food for people at the moment. I can't, you know, I'm not a medical professional. I can't help in any other ways. There are some hazards to hosting goat Zoom calls, with most of the staff losing bits of their clothing and even a few inches of hair. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna last? No. No? No, I, I think it's just a phase. Everyone is a bit crackers at the moment, right, aren't they? <laughs> so I think once, you know, we're all allowed out again and we can all play out, then I think it'll go back to normal. Yeah, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> exactly. A new normal that comes with a new outlook on life. <laughs> all thanks to her superstar goats. 